Oh, this is Dr. Maze, and I got my hands on an SNES Classic today. So let's get into this thing and hack it. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen an unboxing video of this. So I'm going to try as best as I can to open this with one hand. Without getting into the unboxing on the video, I got the SNES Classic in the cord that you're going to need, which is the power cord. This goes to the, hopefully it zooms in, focuses. That's what you're gonna need to plug into the back of the SNS console, which is how you power it up. And the USB, which you will have a cord to plug into the, uh, into an outlet, but this will plug into your computer, so it will sync data to it. So once you have these two, you can go to the computer, which I will see you in a second with. Okay, we are back. Sorry for the shaky cam, but uh, the program that you're going to need, which will be linked before, below, will be Hatchy2. Um, again, the link will be below, and I will also throw a link to where, sorry for the shakiness, where you can get ROMs to add more games to the SNES Classic. But uh, I've already downloaded the uh, Hatchy2. Um, I am also going to open it up. You will also need a program called WinWar or 7-Zip, which they are free. Okay, we are back. I have the SNES Classic plugged in. You're going to have to pick one of the things and just uh, add more games. For me, I made a folder on my desktop called SNES Classic ROMs. I'm just gonna add all of them. I should have probably just did one for this uh, tutorial, but because I am, you know, some of the games might not work um, properly. Um, but anyways, for this, you can browse Google for a for a cover. I'm going to pick the first one. And then you go through and make your own covers. So I'm going to do that real quick and catch you on how to finish this process up. Hey, I am back. A little fuzzy. There it goes. So I'm going to press sync. Select the games to the SNES Classic. You want to uh, flash your custom kernel. Alright. The power switch is off. I am going to reconnect the SNES Mini to the computer. And then hold the reset and turn on the power switch. And there it goes. It's truly that simple. All you do, if you don't know, is you you press the reset, you hold it while pressing the power up, because these buttons work similar to what the uh, original SNES Classic does. So it will be dumping the kernel, which will take probably about a minute or so, and then um, I'm going to speed through this and you will see what happens after that. So, yeah, stay tuned. Right now it is flash. Now it is uh, uploading the games, which is a lot quicker. A lot quicker because the game files are actually relatively small. So yeah, it is done. So I'm going to 
unplug this and uh, put this in on my small TV right here and let you see the games and work okay so stay tuned okay here's the moment of truth about to power up the SNES classic mini for the first time by the way the controller feels amazing it doesn't feel quite like a regular controller but it does feel good there's the original games, and then the folder. And yes, they are on here. So many, many new games on here. Extremely excited to add these on here. And it is truly, truly easy. And then there's another folder for the other new games. And again, it's an easy process. It doesn't take more than five minutes to do. So uh, I definitely recommend everybody doing this. So, But this is Dex Me. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you like the video. And again, I will be in the future finishing messing around with my uh, Raspberry Pi Mini and doing a lot more tutorials and stuff in the future because I do love this kind of stuff. So, But anyways, uh, again, leave a comment below, subscribe. And uh, leave a comment below because I love messaging you guys back. Until next time, get your game on. Deuces.